Hello to everybody. In this video we're going to speak about alchemy, about the seven phases of alchemy. This video is could be taken as it is, but it's part of uh, uh, at least one playlist, the one about uh, I Ching and Nei Dan. And uh, in this video I want to explain what are the phases of the of the alchemy, uh, of Western and Eastern alchemy. Now, in another video, still in this playlist, the one dedicated to the five elements in Taoism, we also saw different cycles. Now, that are how energy related to each other. This part is going to explain how forms, how relationship mutate. How relationship mutate. And this is uh, important because, uh, as explained in the video about immortality, in what this means immortality in Taoist chain, in Taoist terms, uh, the relationships and our ab ability to, to be relationship is our immortality fundamentally. Okay, so let's start to speak about how energy relate and change. This is seen under a lens that divides these processes in seven parts. The first part is called calcination and is when we take a material, something, and we start to work with it. This is actually the chemistry of it. In uh, our uh, explanation, this is the phase that uh, brings us to a question, to or the phase that we, we are here and we feel that there is a change. Okay, can be something very unpleasurable, can be something neutral, can be something pleasurable, can be a desire to creation, can be a sickness, can be many things. In any case, it's something that pushes us towards movement. And this is mostly an energy connected with fire, as energy is connected with mostly fire, also other could be. Okay, in the second phase, now we, we see that a structure is changing or we want a change of a structure. So, as we have seen in the uh, five elements video, a structure to change needs to lose its uh, form or its connections uh, create infinite connections and this is the energy of water. The second phase is the phase of dissolution where you use water to dissolve. Water is also very, very humble and uh, and it flew uh, uh, always in every shape, it can take every shape and flow low. Okay, so in this phase, which is actually the first from the hexagram number three in the I Ching, there is uh, from three to eight, there's a lot of water. Okay, why? Because we're starting our story and uh, someone is looking for something, looking for a change, looking for starting, and it starts from water. Why not from calcination? Because that is what brought us even to look for something. That, so that is uh, an energy that is there before even we start our story. All right? So there is the water energy. In our body is connected with the energy of the kidneys, which regulates the flow of water in our body, kidneys, bladder, and look at that, in this phase we need to listen a lot, okay? In fact, the energy of water is connected with as organ of sense with our ears. Five cents, five uh, energies, okay? And from water, no, from infinite possibilities, we start to, to separate, to take the ones that are more, no. How do we separate? Well, we need wisdom, and wisdom, in this case, is a thirst, again water, for life. No? Okay, yeah, you can choose, do any choice, but the suggestion here is to choose for life, since he was looking for life, you were looking for long life. This is a story of a man that is looking for immortality. So, in, uh, in the separation, I need some wisdom, and since I'm just at the beginning of my work, I may not have it. But then I need the wisdom to look to, to who to ask for wisdom. And there will be other hexagrams to teach us this. And also which qualities to cultivate for, for achieving this, uh, this basic level of distinction. Okay. And then there will be the phase of marriage. Okay, marriage 
is uh, in, meant here as a relationship. Okay, relationship, in fact, we start to create polarities, mm, separate, and of course we don't throw in a garbage that where doesn't nothing exist anymore, but we have separation. So now we deal with polarities. And polarities are um, here seen as uh, uh, the face of marriage, of uh, uh, a new relationship created because we have two differences and so we can create a relationship between these differences. Okay? This relationship doesn't need, doesn't necessary, uh, it's not necessary something so easy to come or so peaceful to come. Uh, as everyone that has ever been in a relationship knows. And this, uh, this relationship uh, start to attract, this polarity start to attract what is similar to them. Again, okay? need wisdom here too. Wisdom is always needed. And it start to, cre to start to create something in between. It's called the phase, where are phase number five, fermentation. To uh, something is bubbling, something not... An idea comes, and then the other one comes, and which one I'm going to look forward? Uh, I have new ideas coming on. Uh, everyone that have, have been in a process of creation know that these things happen. Sometimes, this is a very young phase, and sometimes needs to be mitigated, mitigated with some yin energies. For example, the energy of uh, other water or other, uh, or metal. Um, in our lives to not go too much into this um, but this is a phase of the a phase to, to of change the fermentation and then no exactly what you do in something ferment uh, this was you can also think about a process to to make a, a liquor no the fermentation creates the alcohol which goes up to the, that tubes and the tubes get cooled down so it separates again distill, distillation it's called it takes out just the essence in fact i told you yeah, that we need the energies of cooler energies here okay i choose uh, to differentiate and uh, the way i choose uh, okay is very 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 important and again choose for good for good, not good, the, not the good. Sometimes it's not good to choose for the cho to choose the good. Actually, there's a time for everything. But choose for good, choose for life, thirst for life. It's very, very important. This, and the universe is shaped by this choice. Not much from the from the fact that it always change, but the shape it takes depends on the choices, not on on the on the mutations. Another interesting point, this one, which will bring us to, for being co-creative in this, because the I Ching is also a book to teach us how to co-create with the universe. Then there is the seventh day and seventh uh, phase in, of coagulation. We have reached a new form, okay, maybe what we were aiming before or maybe not, but we have reached a new form. Okay, the energy coagulate in this new form just to restart the whole process again, fundamentally. Okay, uh, but this new form in the story of this uh, man will be an, an immortal form. But even immortals don't stop to create, to continue. In our, uh, we're going to see it later in another video. But I will show graphically how these energies show literally in more in certain sections of the I Ching and other that corresponds to this uh, to these uh, phases. In particular, the two the two um, basic energy in Yang are described in the first two hexagrams, uh, heaven and earth. Then there is uh, from three to eight the distillation, sorry, the solution, obviously, our all water. From 9 to 29, the separation. From 30 to 40, the, the, the wedding, uh, the marriage. For 40, from 41 to 59, the fermentation. 
from 60 to 63 refining and 64 is coagulation and we're really going to to see it visually uh, what kind of trigrams are present in, in the hexagrams in that series and you will see there are the, the trigrams that deals mostly with these processes okay thank you don't uh, forget to look at the description down here um, to eventually if you want to do the course itself it's uh, available here on youtube but from hexagrams number three uh, the videos are, be, are going to be up only 48 hours after the public public publishing them then you if you want you will pay for having the access forever to these videos if not you have seen it you can use it as you wish i don't want to prevent anyone to get to wisdom i just need also some help so if you want to subscribe or sustain the channel please